what's up guys, Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Hey, before we start this video, I wanna let you guys know a really cool, really quick uh, update and important detail. Date on the calendar if you guys will. If you guys are in the Michigan area or you guys are in like, let's say Toledo area, on Saturday, July 21st, this year, this time, this week, this month, uh, just a few days, we're gonna be going to do a Buffalo Wild Wings meetup for uh, Michigan folks. So if you guys are in the area, anywhere within like say an hour radius, even Toledo, Ohio, We'll let you guys in, all you Ohio sneaky people. We love you guys. But hey, we're gonna be at the Buffalo Wild Wings, Novi, Michigan at 7 p.m. on Saturday, 721, all right? So put it in your calendar. If you guys are nearby, come swing by, come hang out, and we will see you guys there. All right, let's start the video. Well, what's up, guys? You know what it is. It's Brian here, Brian's All Maintenance. All right, check this out, Day in the Life. A lot of you guys always ask me to do videos with cutting grass, Day in the Life. Man, what a bright day, man. It's uh, super sunny. Let's change the uh, aperture. All right, so here's the deal. Doing my mom's driveway. Just uh, edge this whole thing. Got a lot going on today. We're finishing up the trailer park today. So I don't know where you guys are at, man, but it has been uh, just 90 degrees out. Super, super hot. Super, super dry, man. A lot of you guys are dealing with uh, heat stress and drought and all that other stuff. Up here in Michigan, same thing. We haven't got any rain for about two, three weeks, and uh, everything is really, really dry. But I will say this. I learned a long time ago to get into the subdivisions because most of those folks fertilize and water regularly which means we can cut uh, pretty regularly so kind of 26 weeks straight is what a lot of people say that's pretty much what i do last week we skipped about three lawns out of a hundred plus <clears throat> so still making money in the in the summer man uh, i wanted to talk to you guys on this video somewhere in between all this talking about ways of making extra income in the summer uh, a lot of you guys uh don't have a lot of lawns to cut right now and that stinks. I mean, that's that's some serious coin when you're losing 500, 800 dollar days uh, because a lot of your lawns are dry. So stick with me. Uh, I'm going to be talking a little bit about some ideas for you guys to make some extra income uh, when the grass isn't growing. If you're in more rural lands and uh, uh, not in subdivision lawns, kind of like myself. But uh, really quick though, check this out. All this we're going to be cleaning up this weekend for my mom. This was uh, her whole uh, old bed. We uh, totally pulled everything out uh, over the last year. I never got to it uh, last fall because uh, we were just extremely busy doing videos and YouTube. Uh, but this weekend on Sunday, Mike Bedell and Brandon are going to help me redo this whole spot, which is going to be awesome. It's going to be a little like surprise gift for my mom. Uh, we're going to do it on Sunday, and my mom works on Sunday. So hopefully when she comes back, everything looks really nice. And oh, you know, I, I know you guys think I'm a tough guy, you know. I'm a softy, man. And uh, so we're gonna fix this whole thing up for her, make it look real nice. Uh, if you guys can see, she already did a lot of uh, egg rock all the way around. She's got these like little rubber brick things here, but uh, we're gonna make it look real nice. Uh, my friend Mike Bedell, uh, he's like, I'm like, Mike, just throw me a program, like design it for me. How much is it gonna cost? And what are we gonna do? He's like, dude, it's for your mom relax like I got you so that's always nice when you got a good friend like Mike and uh, Mike's five minutes away our yard is five minutes away and in fact my friend Brandon lives right there at that little brown house so that's how me and Brandon grew up together and uh, wow he's been killing it too this this whole season and uh, making making bank so this is how I grew up guys a lot of you know that I grew up in the trailer park and uh, it's always funny sort of from the bottom now we yeah and uh, so, man, a lot has changed. Uh, I used to have a Hyundai Elantra. I had a green little five and a half horsepower lawnmower. Uh, all Craftsman uh, trimmers and blowers when I started. Nothing worked correctly, nothing worked right. I, had, I don't think I sharpened my blade in you know the two years that I had that little lawnmower. This is back when I was 13, 14, 15, 16 years old. And uh, look at where we're at now, man. We got uh, $100,000 rigs and Oh, it's all debt, it's all finance, da, 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 da. That's cool, that's okay, I, I agree. Yeah, that's not good. Except for when it's all paid for uh, by two to three months from now and the truck by next spring. So somebody's making some money, which is always cool. Brian, you gotta stay out of debt, da, 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 da. Of course, of course you do. There's nothing wrong with good debt though. But that's a whole other topic. Anyway, but dude, you guys gotta realize I've had this customer for 18 years. I've been cutting him since I was 10 years old and um, had a couple years where I didn't cut grass. But I've had him for about 20 years, this other lady for about 20 years. Uh, this home has had about 16 different people that lived here. But as you can see, we've cut it pretty much every owner since. I've got the white one that I've cut for about 20 years. The lady after Brandon, I've cut for about 20 years. I've cut my mom's lawn for 20 years, but she never pays the bill. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you, mom. 
when I first got my business started, I charged my mom like ten, twelve dollars an hour or ten, twelve dollars a cut to uh, cut my mom's lawn. But dude, that was good money when you're ten years old. But now I'm 32. Now we take care of everything for mom. In fact, the Jetta that was the car we gifted to my mom and just had like six hundred dollars worth of work done on it. Took care of it. Thanks, mom. Appreciate you. Love you. Hey, my mom watches the video sometimes. Hey, mom. Shout out to you. Love you. You did a good job raising raising this guy. My other two brothers. <laughs> Uh, you know, just kidding. They're good too. Having fun. But anyway, so we're gonna go on a little uh, day in the life vlog with you guys and uh, cut some grass and show you guys a little bit about what we got going on today and um, talk to you guys about making some extra money um, in the summertime. And a lot of it comes with just doing like light landscaping, uh, whether it's weed pulling, doing hedge trimming, mid-season prunes, stuff like that. So uh, I'd love to know what your guys' thoughts. What do you guys do to create extra income during the summer when the lawns are dry? Because there's always something to do. You guys got to realize there's always something to do. There's not a lack of resources it's a lack of resourcefulness right so there's always stuff you can do for your customers and clients to make their property look nice and to keep money coming in to you even if it's just a hundred bucks here five hundred dollars there that stuff all adds up so let's catch up with you guys here in a minute and we'll uh, talk to you soon why am I sweating why am I we get sponsored by body armor. we are now officially sponsored by body armor <laughs> I wish man so we'll help you guys out a little bit with with pulling weeds and other stuff how many weeds have we been pulling like seriously like it just never ends it literally never ends because so many. mondays and fridays we normally try to uh do weeding and so we, we do a lot of weed pulling too and uh, i'll give you guys uh, some advice or some suggestions so with pulling weeds we normally do them for uh two hour minimum at 45 bucks an hour i know everybody's got different rates but you know if uh if you're not cutting grass all week dude if you just passed out flyers alone that said you know pulling weeds Dude, you could right. pull so many weeds. And is it fun? No. It, is it? Is it eating poo-poo? I mean, like, I'm better than that. Yeah, I'm better than that too. I don't wanna freaking pull weeds, but, you know, charge somebody $45 an hour and then send some kid that's, you know, like 17, 18, 19 years old and pay him. Literally, I'm not any of those. <laughs> How old are you now? I'm 20. He's 20. Well, is your license still horizontal or vertical? Vertical. Your license yeah. still. Wow, <laughs> uh, someone doesn't have their. Someone's not over 21. Dude, right? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm, I'm 32. Sure, dude. I'm, I'm actually an actor, so I can be whatever age Lots I want. Lots of makeup in the morning. Lots of makeup. Yeah. He's a 19. Uh, our whole lawn care business is actually a green screen uh, stage. You know, like uh, like a Universal Studios thing, like a Hollywood yeah, thing. Yeah, we just drive around the parking lot. This is actually L LED TVs. L LCD screens, you know, like in our truck, yeah. you know, like you can't even, uh -huh. it's like in the movies, you know, with like they're driving down the highway. This is all fake, but um, we're not even really driving right now. We're just in some uh, some studio. Uh, but 40, 40, people hate us right now. So $45 an hour, pull some weeds. And dude, if you did, if you got 20 clients, 50 clients, and you pulled weeds for 20 of them, right? And you did two hours a week, was that $90 times 20? Somebody help me out. What is that, 1800 bucks? Is that what that is? 90 times two, right? Yeah, that's 1800 bucks, man. So here's my suggestion for you guys, is continue to uh, fill in the uh, cracks with the landscaping. Do some mulch jobs, do some pruning. Um, let's say if you got a, um, I don't know, a steel HC56C, I think that thing is, I don't know, three, four hundred dollars. Same thing with the Echo 2420. So go put it on a, a line of credit, a credit card. I'm not suggesting this, but I'm just saying do it. <laughs> and. Uh, it's what, 30, 40, 50 dollars a month for a tool like that? And you go do one pruning job for 250, 300 dollars, and you can start making all that money back. You know what I mean? Like it's, this is no brainer kind of stuff. And hopefully this helps you guys fill in the cracks a little bit with, with doing work like that. Because you know, if you do four or five pruning jobs in a week at 250 dollars a week, that's 1,250 bucks. Well, dude, you just paid off your trimmer if you wanted to pay it off and you just fill in the cracks again for a thousand bucks plus your 1800 for weeding. And that's pretty much what you're going to make anyway, mowing all your lawns. So hopefully this helps out all you guys that are in the, the rural uh, parts of the country. Um, the other thing I'd say is get into subdivisions that have irrigation and water. All right, enough of me rambling, ranting, ready to, what are you, on your cell phone? I don't pay you to be on your cell phone. Oh, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Little does this guy know. <laughs> you're managing my Instagram account right now? Something like that. So yeah, right, whatever. I. Uh, I'm on my phone more than anybody. He's like, dude, can we actually cut grass? You know, like, I'm always on the phone. Uh, how many times have I been on an hour long conference call in the truck with some company? Uh, a lot. Yeah, I'd say at least once a week. I would say at least once a week. At least once yeah. a week. I'm like, hey, dude, uh, so it's uh, 1030. I got to do a conference call for an hour and uh, go cut this grass. I'm like, go cut this, this, and this, and this. I'll see you in 45 minutes. And he's like, oh, okay, Whatever, bro. Okay, bro. So, all right, let's go cut some grass.
sunny day. Look at the stripes. Is the Z on point or what? Those stripes though. Hey, really quick, actually while we're here, shout out to all you guys that participated on Instagram. Uh, on Fridays, I'm gonna be doing a hashtag, it's those stripes though. Hashtag those stripes though. Show me your best stripe footage and action. Tag me uh, in that post and then also use the same hashtag and I'll repost. I'm gonna do it every hour on the hour on Fridays. And uh, show me your best uh, stuff of the week, guys. After I got the deck leveled or re-leveled or whatever you wanna call uh, with the Laser Z, the stripe game has been on point with the Z. So, all right guys, let's keep moving and uh, on to the next project. How do we cut 30 lawns a day, 40 lawns a day? And not really even stress out about it? Well, I got that one. I got this one. I got this one. All my lawns are like right on top of each other. So, you know, it's not uncommon to do 30, 40 lawns a day over here where we live, up in here in Metro Detroit, Michigan, when you're in these subdivisions. So, I'm gonna go put the camera down, tackle the next ones, but uh, that's how we do it with route density, man. So. Anyway, hope this is a fun vlog for you guys. I love hanging out with all of you. Stripe Friday, don't forget to participate. Follow me on Instagram. All right, I'm going to put the camera down and start tackling the rest of these because Noah is really pulling ahead. <laughs> all right, guys, so where are we at next? We are still cutting grass. It's uh, right here is the next lawn we're doing. And then check this out. Got this one up next. mower is doing the creep. <laughs> the X mark has the X mark creep. It just kind of rolls forward. All right, so let me show you guys this really quick because some of you guys, one guy was trolling really hard uh, on Instagram a couple days ago. He's like, there's no way you can cut 30 logs. I got to do the Keith Calvest. There's no way. There's no way you can cut 30, 40 lawns a day. That's the one we just finished up. And the two across the street. This one. And then that one. That's five. It hasn't even taken us maybe 45 minutes. That's with moving the camera around, talking, ad-libbing, wasting time. Um, so normally, Noah's already done trimming and almost blowing when I'm done mowing these five. And you're like, well, that's five in an hour, eight hour day. 40 lawns. We don't even look like we sweat. It's not It's not hard. And I know it sounds like Fibonacci numbers in Latin and you're like, there's no way. And I joked on the Instagram with this guy who was trolling hard until I blocked him. And he said, uh, I said, you gotta, your mind's like a, uh, a parachute, right? It only works when it's open, one of those. So it's not hard if you're in Metro Detroit to do 20, 30, 40 lawns a day. We make it up in volume. Now I know a lot of our prices are a little lower than a lot of uh, the rest of the country but you're still doing five, seven, fifty, eight hundred thousand dollar days in revenue. And I've noticed that some of you guys in the South, uh, same thing, you're doing 20 lawns a day for 40 or 50 bucks. Okay, well it's still a thousand dollar days. So that should be a pretty good goal, 750, 500, 750 thousand bucks a day. So anyway, just hopefully this guy's helps you guys out. Let's go mow some more grass. I got this one next. Let's do it.
All right, so that didn't even take but a few minutes. And as you can see, Noah's already coming around the corner. He's already done. And he's gotta blow this one and this one right there. And then I gotta go cut the backyard and perfect timing, we're all done. So anyway, it's not uncommon guys. Uh, leave me a comment down below. How many lawns do you guys cut in a day? I'm kind of curious to know all uh, different parts of the country. Let me know what part of the country and how many because I know everybody's different. All right, let's put the camera away. I gotta go finish up and we'll catch up with you guys on the next part. All right, guys, what's up? Back at it. Woo, look at my hair, dude. I am so racy, nasty, sweaty. All right, so right now, uh, I just finished up doing weeding at my commercial property. So a lot of you guys, uh, I was talking about earlier, great ways to upsell and to keep money coming in, uh, especially in the summertime, when your lawns start burning out or drying out, if that is the case, you can always fill in the cracks with landscaping. Now, granted, you have to have customers, right? So let's always start with that little asterisk. But for example, this property right here, you see all that? You guys see all that, and you guys have all seen the front on all the videos. If you watch, you've all seen all the videos. So a place like this, uh, let's say $45 an hour to weed, two hour minimum, that's 90 bucks. Uh, I've been here for about two hours so far, an hour and a half yesterday, then we got rained out, I came back for another hour two, three, so it's like three, four hours of weeding uh, for sure that these guys are gonna get charged. So if you think about it, that is an extra nine, 18, it's an extra 200 bucks. Nothing crazy, but it all adds up. Now for me, I like weeding and I like the summer months for sure because like I said earlier, I don't really lose that much business. You know what I mean? Uh, all my customers, we pretty much have them all water and uh, they irrigate. So for me, the summertime is a good time because we make even more money. We don't make a lot more money. Here's what it is. Like in the spring, we do cleanups that make a lot more. And then in the summer, the, the, the revenue dips because we only do lawn maintenance, but I fill that in with landscaping. So even a business like myself, we can still do landscaping on Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays, nights, weekends, the whole deal, and we clean up. So in the spring, the extra credit stuff is always cleanups and pruning. And then in the uh, early spring, it's flowers and mulch. Then in the summertime, it's weeding, 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 weeding. It's kind of all year weeding, <laughs> especially with the heat in the summertime. Weeds just go crazy, man. You could do a property like this almost every week and there's new weeds an hour here, two hours there it all adds up so that that's the kind of stuff that you can do in the summer and then in the fall I would say it's back to pruning you can do mid-season pruning right about now in July uh, you can do mid-season pruning all the way through you know uh, September and then a lot of times you're doing fall cleanups which include uh, include pruning as well like I said earlier before leave a comment down below I love to hear your guys' thoughts on what do you guys do to keep the coffers filled the sales revenues coming in so again I mean it's the dog days of summer man nobody else is out there everyone right now I was on the lake, everybody's just barbecuing and living the dream, and that's totally cool. Uh, just a few minutes ago, my wife and I were looking at some $400,000 homes, and you know what, we're hustling, we're paying dues because, I mean, another year or so, it's really not that big of a deal. Now, we're not heroes, and I don't know if I'm even gonna go and get a home that big if we need something like that, but yeah, 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 I do, and yes, I probably will. But that's the kind of thing, like, you know, I, I'm not a hero either, by the way, for paying dues. Like, everybody always talks about being an entrepreneur, it's so fun and glamorous, you know, all you guys make uh, a limited amount of posts on Instagram, but you know what's the fun part about being an entrepreneur? The hustle, the grind, pulling weeds in our industry, pulling weeds, doing landscaping, doing installs, doing bids, doing late night estimates, uh, catching up on billing, all that kind of fun stuff. So just to give you guys some uh, some motivation, some encouragement while you guys are out there. Man, there's so much stuff going on with the channel. Things are great. Uh, if you guys have watched this far in, I can't wait to uh, let you guys know that we got some more mowers coming down. The right stander will be here in two weeks. So check that out, the right stander. Can't uh, wait for that one. It's gonna be a huge favorite. And then before you know it, we'll have Gravely here as well. Uh, so super excited about that. There is semi truck there is a, a huge announcement coming down the pipe that I know you guys are gonna be super super stoked it's gonna be with a dirt monkey I can't say anything Stanley said don't say anything but I'm just letting you know me and Stanley we're up to our usual shenanigans and uh, what a blessing that guy is in my life uh, but we're gonna be doing some uh, crazy stuff and then by the way uh, if any of you guys are aquascape pond builder people i'm still learning the lingo but if you uh live the aquascape lifestyle if you guys are doing ponds pondemonium is coming i think it's like august august 20 august 20 
you know what I'm saying? So go look that up. But uh, I'm gonna be over at Pondemonium and Greg Whitstock. Uh, I think you might have to register for that one. I'm, I'm not really sure. Greg's kind of comping me on that one. I'm gonna be staying on site at Aquascape, but it's gonna be a blast. So if you guys are, uh, any of you have built ponds in the past, if you guys are going to be there, shoot me a DM. I'm gonna be there probably late, late Thursday night, and then uh, hopefully all day Friday. So that'll be a cool one. So, all right, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, shoot a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. You guys know the deal, and um, honestly, appreciate you guys big time, man. Uh, thanks for all the feedback on the previous videos with the blade grinding and a couple other things in between. Uh, so all that being said, love you guys, appreciate you. You guys take care, and uh, again, leave me a comment down below. Let me know your guys' thoughts. What do you guys do to keep the extra income coming in in the summertime when the lawns are burned out, and uh, maybe that can help some other people as well. So leave me a comment. Don't forget, we'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.